Well, hello and welcome to your Emerge Science course. My name is John Graves and I'll be the instructor for the course and I want to give you a brief overview of what you can expect coming up this year. As I mentioned, um, my name is John Graves and you are welcome to call me whatever your family approves of how you address an adult. Um, some people call me Mr. Graves or Dr. Graves, Mr. G, Dr. G, those kinds of things, and any of those are fine. And here's a couple of pictures of me. One is in the upper left-hand corner. That's me uh, just a couple of weeks ago on the third highest peak in Oregon called the South Sister. Some of my friends, when I posted this picture on Facebook, said, well, what about the first and second highest peaks in Oregon? So on the right-hand side is me standing on the top of Mount Hood, the highest mountain in Oregon. And then Mount Jefferson is the one down below, and I have not climbed it yet, but you never know, I might do that. So a little bit about me and my experience. I have taught uh, middle school for 30 years. And for 26 of those years, I was at Monforton School in Bozeman. It's out west of town. And at that time, I taught 6th, 7th, and 8th grade science. I also taught all the language arts, so reading, writing, typing, spelling, at the 8th grade level. I was called the 8th grade homeroom teacher, but I saw 6th, 7th, and 8th graders every day. I did that, as I said, for 26 years, and then for the last six or seven years, I've been at Montana State University teaching full-time in a master's degree program. This is what my webpage looks like at Montana State University. So my students log in to an online class, similar to what you guys do um, when you're not face-to-face -face with me in class, and so my students um, do readings online, they do um, homework online, they do discussions and things like that, just like I will be asking you to do um, in this time that we are together. So normally a high school science class meets every day, an hour a day, for five days a week. Well, we're only going to see each other for one hour a week. That means that you have some work to do when we are not face to face. During the time that we are together, we will be doing a lot of activities and labs together in class. And in order to prepare you for those activities and labs, you'll have work to do before you come to class. So every week I will have a podcast like this for you to watch. You may also have reading that you need to do. It might be something on the internet. It might be something out of a book that I give you, something along those lines. Sometimes you might have problem sets to work through. So kind of like um, math problems or something like that. I might have you do some searches on the internet to find out more information. I could also have you do some writing. So there will be time throughout the week that you're expected to do science work for this class. So again, high school students meet for five hours a week. And since we're only together for one hour, I would expect you to probably spend another three to four hours throughout the week on the work that I've posted on the course for you. I would highly suggest that you not do all that work in one day. It's better to spread that information out over several days, and that gives you a chance to work through the ideas, to think about what you're doing, and to learn the material a whole lot better. So um, as homeschool students, I would highly encourage you to work out some sort of a plan where you are spending a certain amount of time every day working on certain subjects. So. Just know that uh, we will meet on Wednesdays. I will try to have the next week's podcast and assignments up sometime Wednesday afternoon. So beginning Thursday morning, you can plan from Thursday till the following Tuesday, knowing that we meet on Wednesday, to get that work taken care of. The site that I will use to share with you the information looks like this. It's actually a website that I have both for my online teaching, but I also use it for you guys. So when you click in there, you will click on the Emerge tab. Once you're here, depending upon which course you're in, you can pick like Chemistry for week one, and you'll see that when that loads up, you are directed to do the following. I've got a short survey for you, so you'll click on that. It takes you out to a Google Docs, and you will complete this survey. Then you can go back to that page. I will direct you to another podcast that talks about science notebooks. 
Hey guys, welcome to the first video. I will be producing a video almost every week so you'll watch. that you need to watch. So you'll watch that. Then I will direct you to some other resources. In this case, I have a place where there are some learner goals for you to take a look at. I'll ask you to copy these and put those in your notebook. I have some questions uh, or actually another podcast for you to look at. So you'll go to that spot. And then I'll have you set your notebook up. And then in the case of the chemistry class, I actually will have you do some problems out of the textbook put those answers in your notebook and then we will collect well excuse me we will correct those in class the next time we're together so this is this will be your landing site every week when we're not together so just come here and uh, check and see what I've got for you to do every week so that was what chemistry looked like uh, the physical science class looks very similar to that same kinds of things and again you can expect you know between two to four hours of outside work um, during each week. Some weeks will be more than that, some weeks will be less than that, but that gives you an idea of what you are going to do when we're not meeting face to face. If you need to get a hold of me between class sessions, you can do that through email. I'd really like you to use the graves at montana.edu email rather than the Gmail addresses that I have because I don't check my Gmail account. So make sure you use this one. Also, when you send me an email, if you would please do the courtesy of signing it with your name so I know who you are. Some of you are using your parents' um, email addresses, and so if it's you, you know, just, just type your message, and at the bottom of it, just put, you know, Billy or Mary or whoever you are, and then I'll respond to you. And I'm on email all the time, so I'll get back to you as soon as I possibly can. So again, every week there's going to be some sort of a podcast, there'll be assignments online, and then this way you'll be able to come to class prepared for the activities that we have. So I'm looking forward to the class, and I will see you soon. Bye now.